students, this is Mrs. Browning with week three of our online learning videos. We've been talking about being safe and staying safe. So today we're going to talk a little bit more on that issue and we're going to talk about first aid safety and a first aid safety kit. Things that you need to have in case you have an emergency. In this case, these are simple emergencies. You can have the first aid safety kit in your house. You can put it in your car to take along with you now that things have opened up a little bit. You can go hiking, do some outside activities. Hopefully in the next few weeks you'll be able to do even more. So we're going to make a first aid safety kit. Um, put things in there that are essential. You can take with you or you can actually keep this at home just in some place so it's, everything's handy and when you need it. So the first thing you're going to need is a plastic bag, just a simple plastic bag that's zip tied. Especially if you put this in your car and you're going out, if you happen to get wet or something happens, it's in a safe bag uh, that'll stay, stay dry. So you're going to need to take Band-Aids, and we have several different kinds, sizes to put in there in case there's an accident. And then these are wipes that if you need to take along to clean your wound, something happens, you need to clean up, you have safety wipes. Uh, container, The big containers you can take along with you, those we know are kind of hard to get right now, both simple wipes. And again, some little hand sanitizer in a small bottle that's travel-sized. To clean, if you get a cut or a wound, you need to have some hydrogen peroxide, perhaps put it in a bit smaller bottle, but this is what we have on hand right now, so we'll stick that in there. And two kinds of things that you can put on your after you get your wound cleaned up, and you're going to put some Neosporin, perhaps, if you get a cut on your lip, or inside you can use some Camphophonique, helps clean things up, takes the sting away. If you're going out in the woods, you want to take some deep woods off to keep mosquito bites away. Take along some, Ad, I have Advil, you can take Advil, you can take aspirin, what is your favorite type of thing, stick that in your bag. Take along some cotton balls, again, to help clean the wound, to keep the blood off, you need to put a little bit of pressure on something. Be sure and put your cotton balls in their own little self-cleaning bag so they stay clean. And then we have two types of gauze. If you get a bigger cut, you need to, use, again, use it to wipe things off. These are sterile little, uh, things that you can put in there. We have two sizes that you want to put in. Our bag is getting kind of full. Then we have tweezers if you need to pull out uh, a sticker, if you need to pull out a sting, if you need to just grab your tweezers and take something out, be sure to stick those in there as well. Be sure and check with your doctor, but something I like to take along when I'm camping and hiking is some uh, allergy pills, or you can get Benadryl, something similar to that. I'm allergic to to bees and mosquitoes. I don't take EpiPens, but I get some some of this. It helps take the swelling down and relieve the, the pain. And again, you also have some Benadryl gel that you can take with you. And two things always say, make sure you have on hand are scissors if you need to cut things or cut your gauze down. Just always scissors are handy. And one final thing is uh, I either drops, this is just plain solution, you get something in your eye, you can clean it out, you use your gauze to, to kind of help wipe it out. Make sure when you're out hiking that you, in camping, walking around, that you should be sure to stay clean and make sure to make sure the wounds are uh, taken care of correctly. If they're really serious, get them cleaned up a little bit and then go in and see the doctor. So here it is, your handy kit with your scissors inside. Lift up. Again, you can leave it around the house. Everything's in one place. You can take it and put it in your car, put it in your trunk or your rig, and you're away to go. Again, be safe. Have a great week, and we'll see you soon.